Well, hello there, folks. This is Papa G, your compost gardening CEO, back with another video. Intro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I'd saw bull raining around the hills and mountains. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry streets. With a grain tang tang and a ting 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 and a through the way, a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball. And through the way we would run. I'm back with a short video. This time it's not about compost gardening. It's a thought I've had before. I thought about the Most High, who He is, and what He looks like. I know He said that He's Spirit, but if you think about it, spirit can come in a form well, as a matter of fact he said that man is created in his own image was created in his own own image and so anyway what I was thinking about was that he said that if we'll be if we be ashamed of him now that he would be ashamed of us when it comes to the end of life journey. I know I don't want him ashamed of me, but I've been giving it some thought. And uh, the way the world has betrayed, portrayed uh, the Most High, his son, which I believe his name is Yahushua. His son's name is Yahushua and his name, I believe that his name is Yahuwah. And uh, I've given it some thought, been giving it some thought. Not This is not the first time I've thought about this, but this time I thought I'd make a recording of it, of the thought. I know that I was brought up to believe that the Savior was a white man. I was, I was brought up to believe that. And uh, I know that through in my belief I didn't have any shame of that that thought they 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 named him Jesus the world did when they created religion they named him Jesus Yahusha in which I believe is his name after having some a deep deep revelation of who the Savior is, was, or is going to be. I know that I wasn't ashamed of Jesus the whole time that I thought he was my Savior. I wasn't ashamed. But who, who what would make a, a, a person ashamed of his Savior? the savior of the world. And the thought came to me that the world would be ashamed of a melanated colored savior. And, uh, and, and I've given it some thought and the way the world has betrayed, portrayed melanated people, it would make anyone ashamed of being melanated or ashamed of a melanated pe person being thought at, thought of as the savior of the world. Wow. Huh. Because the world, all over the world, melanated people are put down. They are put at the bottom all over the world. 
you know it if you if you give it some thought you don't have to give it much thought but if you give it some thought and just think about all over the world wherever you're from wherever you are in the world a mel a melanated people lifted up or a melanated people put down think about it be honest with yourself and think about it would they be lifted up are they lifted up where you are or are they cramped pushed down to the bottom by laws by physical punishment in the prisons the prison system all over the world be honest with yourself melanated people are put down all over the world and even being a melanated person like myself When I, when I first began to have this thought of the Savior being melanated, melanated, and even now, because I've, I've spent six, over 60 years recognizing the Savior as being white, as being pink or whatever you want to call it. And uh, before, I had never been ashamed of that. But now that I see and believe and in, in that research has proven out that the savior is a melanated savior hmm think about it i don't see any people being ashamed around the world africa and everywhere of a white jesus but would they be ashamed of a melanated Yahushua? Huh, think about it. We're talking about the savior of the world, the savior to save us from sin, the one that died to save us from sin and to, and to give us freedom without and within. Would you be ashamed of a melanated savior? Ask yourself that question. Because Maybe he is melanated. Would you, if he came back out of the clouds as he said he would come back, and he's and he was, you saw that he was melanated. <laughs> wow! Would you take off running away from him, or would you take off running towards him? Something to think about. Something to think about. He said, if we would be ashamed of him now, that he would be ashamed of us at the end of life journey. I don't want him ashamed of me, no matter what color he is. I've already proven in my life to myself that I wasn't ashamed of a, of a, of a, a white, a non-melanated Jesus. But I've had myself, I've had some struggles, you know, because I've brought, I was brought up, like I say, I've been believing that for six, over 60 years. And so I've had to do some rethinking of this whole situation of salvation. When it comes down to it, he, whether he's melanated or not and he died for our sin for the sin of the world but then he's the savior I feel comfortable in knowing that I've not been ashamed of him while he, when I thought he was white and so I'm getting used to the idea of thinking about him if he's melanated Think about it.
Outro. When I was a school boy, coming home from school, I thought I saw a boy running around the hills and miles. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollowing around the merry streets. With the ring ting ting and the ting 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 and the crew the way, bow wow wow, a moo moo moo, and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run, play ball, and through the way we 